making lifelong learning and mobility a reality. Enabling flexible access to training and qualifications. Developing a strategic approach to the internationalization of IVET and CVET and promoting international mobility. Economic globalization encourages employers, employees and independent entrepreneurs to extend their scope beyond the borders of their own countries. VET providers should support this process by giving an international dimension to the learning. Participating countries should encourage local and regional authorities and VET providers to develop strategies for cross-border cooperation in VET, with the aim of fostering greater mobility of learners, teachers and trainers and other professionals. Participating countries should promote opportunities for language learning for both learners and teachers in VET, and the provision of language training adapted to the specific needs of VET. To enhance the contribution of VET towards reaching the benchmark of 15% of adults participating in education and training by 2020, participating countries should actively encourage individuals to participate and establish an appropriate framework aimed at encouraging companies to continue to invest in human resources development. Encourage flexible training arrangements and training institutions and employers to collaborate and develop national procedures for the recognition and validation of non-formal and informal learning. Take specific measures to enhance the participation rate in continuous training of people facing transitions within the labor market and of groups with low participation in training. Facilitate transitions from education and training to work. Develop or maintain post-secondary or higher VET at EQF level 5 or higher, as appropriate, and contribute to achieving the EU headline target of 40% with tertiary or equivalent education. Promote flexible pathways between VET, general education and higher education, and enhance permeability by strengthening the links between them.